In a world where ancient magic intertwines with the disciplined prowess of the samurai, the prestigious Tenryu Academy stands as a beacon of arcane knowledge. For centuries, samurai sorcerers have trained within its hallowed halls, mastering the delicate balance between swordsmanship and spellcraft. But the peace of the Academy is shattered when Renji, a promising young wizard, commits the ultimate betrayal. Disillusioned by the rigid traditions of his teachers, he flees the Academy, seeking solace and a new purpose among the samurai clans. Embracing their way of life, Renji strives to forge a new path, blending his magical abilities with the honor and discipline of the samurai. As tensions rise between the Academy and the clans, Renji becomes a symbol of both hope and defiance. His journey challenges the very foundations of his world, leading him to confront powerful foes, forge unlikely alliances, and ultimately redefine what it means to wield magic in a land where honor is paramount. The moon hung low over Tenryu Academy, its pale light casting long shadows across the ancient stone walls. Renji stood at the edge of the courtyard, his heart pounding in his chest. Tonight, everything would change. He glanced back at the towering gates of the Academy, their intricate carvings of mythical creatures seeming to come alive in the moonlight. For a moment, doubt crept into his mind. Was he truly ready to abandon the only home he had ever known? Shaking off his hesitation, Renji tightened his grip on his staff, feeling the familiar hum of magic coursing through it. The staff, a gift from his mentor, Master Shiro, had been his constant companion through years of rigorous training. But now it felt like a shackle, binding him to a life of endless rules and traditions. He couldn't breathe within the Academy's confines anymore. His spirit longed for freedom. Renji moved swiftly, his steps silent against the cobblestones. He had spent weeks preparing for this night, gathering supplies and mapping out his route. The Academy's wards and enchantments were formidable, designed to keep intruders out and students in. But Renji had a plan. He had always been gifted with a natural talent for magic, excelling in his studies and earning the respect of his peers and teachers. But that respect came with expectations he could no longer fulfill. As he approached the outer walls, Renji reached into his robes and pulled out a small vial of shimmering liquid, essence of the moonflower, a rare potion capable of temporarily disrupting magical barriers. He had stolen it from the restricted section of the Academy's library, a crime punishable by expulsion or worse. But Renji was beyond caring about the consequences. He carefully poured the potion onto the wall, watching as the barriers flickered and dissolved. With a deep breath, he stepped through the gap, feeling a surge of exhilaration as he crossed the threshold. The forest beyond the academy was dense and foreboding, but Renji felt a strange sense of peace as he ventured into the unknown. For hours, he traveled under the cover of darkness, navigating by the stars and the faint light of his staff. As dawn approached, he found himself on the outskirts of a small village. The sound of a stream trickling nearby and the smell of fresh earth filled the air. Renji knew this was his first real test. He had to prove that he could survive outside the protective walls of Tenryu, relying on his wits and his magic. As tensions rise between the Academy and the clans, Renji becomes a symbol of both hope and defiance. His journey challenges the very foundations of his world, leading him to confront powerful foes, forge unlikely alliances, and ultimately redefine what it means to wield magic in a land where honor is paramount. In a world where the noble samurai ruled with honor and discipline, magic was a rare and revered gift. But betrayal lurked in the shadows, threatening the very fabric of their existence. The village was just stirring to life as he entered. Farmers were beginning their morning routines and the smell of cooking fires wafted through the air. Renji approached cautiously, pulling the hood of his cloak over his head. He needed supplies and information, but more importantly, he needed to find the samurai. He had heard stories of the samurai clans that roamed these lands, their fierce warriors bound by a code of honor as unyielding as their swords. Renji was determined to join them, to learn their ways and prove that magic could coexist with the samurai's discipline. But first he had to earn their trust. As he walked through the village, Renji's eyes were drawn to a group of men practicing in a clearing. They moved with a grace and precision that took his breath away. 
their swords slicing through the air in perfect harmony. One of them, a tall man with a stern expression, noticed Renji and paused. You're not from around here, the man said, his voice carrying a hint of suspicion. Renji lowered his hood, meeting the man's gaze with determination. No, I'm not. My name is Renji, and I've come to learn the ways of the samurai. The man raised an eyebrow, clearly intrigued. And why would a wizard want to become a samurai? Renji took a deep breath, choosing his words carefully. Because I believe that magic and honor can coexist. I want to prove that they can. The man's eyes narrowed, but after a moment he nodded. Very well, Renji. You may stay and observe. But know this. The path you seek is not an easy one. You will have to prove yourself in ways you cannot yet imagine. Renji nodded, his resolve strengthening. He had made his choice and there was no turning back now. The path before him was uncertain and fraught with challenges, but for the first time in his life, Renji felt truly alive. He was ready to embrace his destiny, whatever it might hold. Coming soon, only available in theaters and streaming services.